Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to do reforging so that you can get the best quality gear possible, as well as uh, basically upping your heart levels, making you much more stronger, much more stronger, much more powerful, much stronger as a player. <clears throat> and we're gonna be using these two different reforging stations. We got one reforging station over here, and I got one over here. These are going to be used for different purposes. They both have the same name, Reforging Station, which can lead to some confusion. But basically this one on the left here with the obsidian is for reforging armor. And this one on the right with the lava and the anvil and the crafting station is for reforging your baubles. Both will work in different ways and require different resources to use. And, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about that right now. So this one is used for your armor and for your weapons and you need to use a material dependent on what you're trying to upgrade. So as an example, if you have golem armor, you're gonna to need to use obsidian to reforge. If you're gonna have dragon, uh, dragon scale armor, you're gonna to need to use dragon scales to reforge. For weapons, you're gonna to need to use, like if it's a dragon bone rapier, you're gonna to need to use dragon bones. Surprise, surprise. So reforging is really simple, guys. All you need to do is pop your armor in there, pop your resource in there, and click here. And you, you are looking for a quality which is gonna be beneficial, of course. So there's different, uh, different qualities. Each different quality will give you different uh, variation to your stats. Pretty much, you're looking for the purple, you see the, uh, you see the quality there crumbling is in red. You're pretty much looking for the ones that are purple instead of red. Those will be like the epic or legendary enchants that you can get, or qualities. There we go, perfect, masterful. Easy clap, I only reforged two times and I got masterful on that. So uh, there's a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different qualities that you can go for, as you can see, and you're basically just gonna keep hitting this button until you end up with the quality that you're looking for. I believe masterful for armor is the best. So we've just gone past that. Here we go, masterful again. So we've gone through 20 obsidian and we've gotten masterful twice. So the odds aren't too bad, but you're not gonna want a lot of obsidian or whatever your resource is to get through the whole armor set. And as you can see, this gives you extra armor toughness, extra armor, extra knockback resistance, etc. cetera. So that can be really good. Now in terms of your weapons, same process. On the weapons, you're gonna be looking for, I think it's called legendary. So let's pop some bones in here and start reforging, see if we can get our legendary quality. Pokey. <laughs> worthless and worthless. Okay, let's keep going. Pokey, broken, graceful. So graceful is decent, but not the best. Worthless, keen, broad, worthless, short. Sweeping. Sweeping again is quite decent, but not the best. So we're going to keep going. We're just going to keep going until we get that legendary. Oh, pop that back in there. Until we get that legendary quality. Okay, vicious, broken, graceful, sweeping. Short, worthless, broad, bulky, bulky. Whatever you do, just make sure if you're doing this quickly, you don't do it so quickly that you pass by the quality that you're looking for. Because I've done that before and it is very annoying. So yeah, you can end up, if you get unlucky, you can end up, there we go, perfect. Going through a lot of resources. But we've now got our quality legendary for our weapon here. 10% dig speed, 10% attack speed, 15% attack damage, and half a block of reach distance. Which is pretty powerful. It makes the weapon much stronger, much better. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for legendary, that purple quality. We're looking for masterful, which I actually disenchanted or dequalified off of that. That's not the right words at all, but I think you know what I mean. So the baubles are going to work a little bit differently. What you're going to want to do is notice that the baubles will actually have two different qualities attached to them. We'll take this dragon's eye as an example. You can see that it has the quality prospecting, but then underneath bauble, it also says menacing plus 8% attack damage. So baubles have two qualities to them, if you will and are changed in different ways. To change the bauble element that says menacing plus 8% attack damage, and for these are uh, menacing 8% attack damage, menacing 8% attack damage, menacing 8% attack damage, but some of them are hardy, which gives you plus one heart. I usually spread these between hardy and menacing and get sort of some additional health and some additional uh, damage along the way. 
You'll also notice that the quality of these, uh, most of these is undying. Now undying is absolutely brilliant for the bobble uh, quality. It gives you 3% damage resistance, it gives you 2 max health, which is equal to 1 heart, and it gives you 1 magic shielding as well. So we're going to want to get both of these qualities to be ideal. I go for menacing 8% attack damage or hardy plus 1 heart on the, uh, the bobble quality, and I will always go for undying for the quality quality, if that makes sense. So this is the reforging station you use for the baubles when you're trying to change the bobble quality. So this has menacing 8% attack damage. I think we want to go for um, hardy on this. So we're going to go for some extra health. There's a bunch of different options, but menacing and hardy are the two that I go for. You'll see this uses experience, and it's not really very expensive uh, in levels. It's pretty cheap. So we're just going to keep going. Half-hearted is okay, but hardy is what we're going to go for. So remember, don't go too fast, so you skip past it. And we're just going to, there we go, perfect, hardy, plus one heart, cool. So we got our hardy on there, and this is just going to use uh, experience for all of these. So reforge is just going to use experience. Now the reforging of the baubles uh, on the reforging station to change your quality quality, as we're calling it here, is going to be a little bit different. Nether stars can be used to do any reforging at all. Any armor, any weapon can be reforged with the nether stars, anything at all. Obviously, the nether stars are a little bit extensive. Certain baubles can use certain other materials to be reforged. I believe the hardy, the arrow quiver can be reforged with leather, tool belt can be reforged with leather, and I'm not 100% sure on all the different elements. This might be obsidian, um, but the nether stars are gonna work for everything. And I mean, I've got, I have quite a few nether skulls. I got quite a few wither skulls. So, I mean, it's quite easy to get uh, more nether stars, but we're gonna pop in and we're gonna be trying to get the undying trait for this as well. Very similar to what we were doing for our armor and weapons, but we want to get undying. Undying is absolutely insane for bubble qualities and it's gonna make us a lot stronger. People are often asking me, how do I have so many hearts? Punishing is also good if you wanna go for damage, but undying is just far better. People are often asking me how I get so many hearts. You can't see them right now because this isn't, you know, I'm not fully armored and whatnot. But uh, making sure that you have all of the best qualities in your baubles is going to basically be how you're going to become as powerful as you could possibly be. This is going to be helping to max out your potential. And we are, we're not getting very lucky here. It's taking us quite a while to get uh, our quality. We've got punishing again. And sometimes I will just, if I'm running out of resources, I'll just accept that. Actually, you know what? I'll just go for a second second best option, especially if you're using something as expensive as like nether stars. Undying, lovely. Right as we we're about to give up, we got our undying quality for the nether star. I mean, for the hardy dragon's eye. So this dragon's eye is about as OP as it can get. We have the hardy plus one heart and we have the undying quality. So if we pop this in here, we should gain an additional two hearts, which is pretty, pretty phenomenal for just adding one bauble. And just an example to show you a different resource for this. We're jumping to creative really quickly and we're going to grab a little bit of leather just to show you that you use different resources for different baubles. I believe this is leather. Yes, we can reforge this with leather. Happy days. So guys, that is reforging. If you have any questions, um, have any specifics, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.